Those Glorious Lunches by Charles Bukowski When I was in grammar school, my parents were poor, and in my lunch bag there was only a peanut butter sandwich. Richardson didn't have a lunch bag. He had a lunch pail with compartments, a thermos full of chocolate milk. He had ham sandwiches, sliced beef sandwiches, apples, bananas, a pickle, and a large bag of potato chips. I sat next to Richardson as we ate. His potato chips looked so good, large and crisp as the sun blazed upon them. You want some potato chips? He would ask. And each day I would eat some. As I went to school each day, my thoughts were on Richardson's lunch and especially those chips. Each morning as we studied in class, I thought about lunchtime and sitting next to Richardson. Richardson was the sissy, and the other boys looked down on me for eating with him, but I didn't care. It was the potato chips. I couldn't help myself. You want some potato chips, Henry? He would ask. Yes. The other boys got after me when Richardson wasn't around. Hey, who's your sissy friend? You want too? I didn't like that, but the potato chips were more important. After a while, nobody spoke to me. Sometimes I ate one of Richardson's apples, and I got half a pickle. I was always hungry. Richardson was fat. He had a big belly and fleshy thighs. He was the only friend I had in grammar school. We seldom spoke to each other. We just sat together at lunchtime. I walked home with him after school, and often some of the boys would follow us. They would gather around Richardson, gang up on him, push him around, knock him down again and again. After they were finished, I would go pick up his lunch pail, which was spilled on its side with the lid open. I would place the thermos back inside, close the lid. Then I would carry the pail as I walked Richardson back to his house. We never spoke. As we got to his door, I would hand him the lunch pail. Then the door would close and he would be gone. I was the only friend he had. Sissies live a hard life.